mental health is the major concern now in terms of post-COVID outcomes, right? Mental health of children, the suicide rate of children is just, uh, you know, it's terrible. I mean, it's frightening. There's an article in the New Yorker mm -hmm. about child suicide and the rates of child suicide. I'm wondering how you educate your bipartisan committee or your advocacy group for that matter. This particular field stays somehow outside the realm of awareness to the powers that be. As Pete will point out, I'm in a hurry. And Jay and I have been in this field looking at these results what can be done when you reach the brain directly? Well, collectively, over 80 years, it's not the two of us anyway, to influence this conversation. And I'm wondering uh, what, what can be done. One of the reasons that CTIP started, right, the Campaign for Trauma-Informed Policy and Practice started in 2015 with many members of the trauma or many leaders within the trauma-informed movement nationally because there was a recognition that within the trauma-informed movement or the various aspects and dimensions of it, a lot of the information was not being communicated with members of Congress. Recognizing that Congress itself may be a traumatizing body for so much of the population, it's, it's understandable why that would be the case. To elevate sort of the emerging knowledge, that really needed to change. And so to not just have a conversation with me or with CTIP, but to sort of leverage a lot of the talking points that we have available for people. And we will continue to grow those talking points as our capacity grows, as we learn from people across the country with different levels of experience and wisdom and, and expertise. There is the need to have conversations with your elected officials, because again, they need to listen to you. Writing letters, writing op-eds, having earned media, when there is an article, you know, that there are many articles and more local papers that are perhaps easier to, to, to get earned media and spots within, with an op-ed, with a letter to the editor. But when we look at the New York Times piece, for instance, right, that was in the paper over the weekend, there was a sentence in there that was highly disturbing to me that said something along the lines of like, we don't know how to solve these problems that we are seeing with increased you know, youth suicide and mental health struggles. And the reason that that was concerning is because we may not have the answer for everything, but we do know more and we can elevate emerging knowledge that is out there. It's just how do we get that information sort of out of the bubble that we exist within and into more of the public discourse and dialogue? 